Hi there, and welcome to the International Working Group informational video. If you're watching this, you probably have some questions as to what an International Working Group, or IWG, is as defined by Textile Exchange. In this 10-minute video, we'll give you an overview of IWGs, provide some information on the intention of the groups, go over the participation expectations, and also go over commonly asked questions about IWGs and how you can participate in upcoming revisions. The agenda is as follows. We'll provide an introduction to textile exchange in our portfolio of standards. We'll talk about what a standard revision is, and then we'll get into what is an IWG, why you should participate, and what the membership and responsibilities are for participating in an IWG. At the end of the video, we'll go over how you can participate in an IWG for an upcoming standards revision. But first, let's meet the team. The Integrity team is a sub-team of the larger textile exchange organization. Our global team has grown over the past year or so, and we're able to more focus on our areas of expertise. This allows us to build a more robust family of standards, grow the adoption of our standards, provide confidence to users in the assurance aspect of the standards, and develop out more and more tools and resources to help users better understand what certification can do for their organization. Textile Exchange is a global nonprofit that works closely with stakeholders to drive industry transformation in preferred fibers, integrity, and standards, and responsible supply networks. We offer many avenues of engagement for organizations, including self-reported benchmarking activities, a learning center for growing your knowledge base, membership opportunities for ongoing engagement, and standards and certification, which allows organizations to drive positive change in the industry and reduce their risk by using third-party verified audits to certify to our standard requirements. These standards have been developed by stakeholders in the industry, as well as members of civil society. The standards are designed to ensure chain of custody prefer for preferred fiber materials and to help end users make claims on their finished goods. Our family of standards has also grown in the past few, year few years. On the farm and input level, Textile Exchange currently owns the Organic Content Standard, Recycled Content Standard, Global Recycled Standard, Responsible Down Standard, and the Responsible Animal Fiber Framework, which is an umbrella term for the family of standards that includes Responsible Wool, Responsible Mohair, and the newly added and currently drafted Responsible Alpaca Standard. As materials move through the supply chain, the Content Claim Standard ensures chain of custody is upheld for these certified materials. Part of our commitment to building a credible family of standards is regularly revising each of these documents. Having a chance to revise each standard ensures that the requirements are continually delivering on their desired outcomes to drive industry change. It also ensures that the requirements are up to date with recent industry advancements and changing supply chain realities. Lastly, it allows us to include updated stakeholder views and beliefs as well as assurance practices as they are needed. Each standard is revised every three to five years as part of a larger substantial revision. However, minor revisions may be made sooner. Examples of this include grammar fixes or intent clarifications as they come up. Why does Textile Exchange want your participation? In general, the revision process identifies key issues that are discussed with the standard stakeholders and the international working group. We're looking for IWG members who have dedicated interest to the standard being revised and can provide meaningful feedback on the requirements. Your participation in the IWG ensures that the standard development process is inclusive and transparent to affected stakeholders. It also provides a robust review process to ensure that the standards effectively meet their respective goals. Lastly, it ensures that the development and revision of the standards comply with the inter international best practices for standard setting. This includes the ICL Code of Good Practice for setting social and environmental standards, as well as our own policies and procedures. What is an international working group? We've touched on it in the slides before, but an IWG is a group of interested and engaged stakeholders who participate in the revision of a specific standard. Textile Exchange offers a pre-competitive and collaborative environment where participants can share their knowledge and experience. The purpose of the IWG is to work together to ensure that the standard continues to meet the needs of the industry while also driving positive impact. The IWG membership will also support interpretation decisions and minor revisions following the release of the updated standard. Why should you participate in an IWG? As a member of the IWG, you have a chance to influence the various aspects of the standard that are important to its implementation. 
IWG members help to define the goals, objectives, and theory of change of the standard, re review the criteria and provide feedback on the standard draft, support interpretation decisions in minor revisions following the release of the updated standard, support the monitoring and evaluation of the standard against the goals identified in the terms of reference, and support the success of the standard through identifying risk and opportunities. What does IWG membership mean and what are your responsibilities? Participation in the IWG is absolutely voluntary and it's open to all stakeholders and includes both non-voting and voting members. Textile Exchange strives to include representation from all sectors. This includes brands and retailers, supply chain members, civil society, raw material producers when applicable to the standard, and professional services. IWG members must agree to the terms of participation that are laid out in the International Working Group Charter, and their intent for participating in the IWG must align with the overall goal to create a more meaningful standard. IWG membership may be denied if Textile Exchange determines that the member's intent for participating does not align with the overall goal to create a more meaningful standard. What is your role as a voting member of the IWG? Should you choose to be a voting member, you will agree to the terms of participation laid out in the charter and you will sign the charter to indicate your interest in being a voting member. You will help set the terms of reference for the standard. At the end of the revision, you will provide a vote for or against the final draft of the standard. You participate in the IWG with the overall goal to create a more meaningful standard. And as it was stated before, your voting membership may be denied if we determine that your intent for participating in the IWG does not align with the overall goal to create a more meaningful standard. The Chatham House rules, as shown above, apply to all IWG meetings for standard development, revision, and ongoing maintenance. Under the Chatham House rules, anyone who comes to a meeting is free to use information from the discussion, but is not allowed to reveal who made the comment. It is designed to increase the openness of the discussion. Textile Exchange would never publicly attribute any information shared in an IWG meeting to a specific person. We intend IWG groups to be a safe space to share freely and collaborate without restriction. Participation in an IWG. If you decide to join, what will you have to do? Because IWG members play a critical role in the development of the standard, we highly encourage them to uphold the following expectations. We're looking for input that's meaningful and you can provide feedback throughout the entire revision process. We ask that you ask, res act respectfully to other members of the IWG and commit to honest and polite discourse. We ask that you comply with all applicable antitrust and anti-competitive laws. There's more information about this in our IWG charter. And we ask that you abstain from any conversations or activities that may restrict competition or set prices. We hope that you promote the standard as a meaningful tool for the industry. How are decisions made throughout the revisions process? The IWG will be responsible for providing textile exchange with feedback and advice based on their expertise and experience. During each international working group call, Textile Exchange will present items that are within scope of the revision. The IWG will review the topic and provide feedback and comments in between each call. They will either be in agreement or objection to the draft language of the requirements and provide that feedback to Textile Exchange. During the next international working group call, the new draft standard will be presented and the new topic will also be presented on that call. After a series of international working group meetings, the final draft of the standard will be presented to the IWG and the voting members will be given the chance to vote to approve the final version of the standard. Meetings will be scheduled periodically as needed. They could be in person, by phone, or most likely on video conference. All members are encouraged to engage in as many meetings as possible throughout the process and to join or lead task groups as they break off. Consistent participation is key to the success of a revised standard. Typically, there are one to three calls per month that will be scheduled to discuss, re discuss revision topics. Requests will be made to IWG members to provide their written feedback on the various topics as they relate to the standard. This feedback is expected to be returned to the lead within a week of the call. All meetings and discussions of the IWG will follow the Chatham House rules, as mentioned before, 
And after a standard has been released, IWG members will be asked to meet periodically, maybe three or four times per year, to support interpretation decisions and minor revisions, and so they can be kept informed of key standards progress and data points. Some tips per, for providing helpful feedback as part of the IWG are to give specific suggestions for what you feel should change. Reasoning really helps when you're providing suggestions as well. Examples of feedback that are less helpful include, this section doesn't make sense, or I think we should be doing more about marketing. Examples of helpful feedback for textile exchange team members are, I recommend to reword this requirement to say XYZ in order to fix this topic, or I would like to include more guidance on how to segregate materials during the spinning stage. Additionally, there is another place to continue conversations in between IWG meetings or in between revisions. The Hub is a digital space that Textile Exchange offers for updates and discussions for members of the IWG. It is a go-to place for resources, learning, conversation, and more. The goals of this platform is to provide a landing spot for members to conversate in between calls and remain up to date on the revision process if they happen to miss a call. As a member of the IWG, you're automatically able to activate your account and you may already be active in the community. All IWG protocol, including the Chatham House rules, apply to this digital community. It really is a private space where only members can see the conversation. If you're interested in learning more about the Hub, we have an online training session that will be linked in this presentation. How can you join an international working group? In the months leading up to a standard revision, calls for IWG members will be sent out via textile exchange communications. Make sure you're opted in to all of our communications in order to receive these notifications. You may also join an IWG by emailing standards at textileexchange.org to participate. If you have any questions about the IWG, the intent of the group, or the revisions process, please feel free to reach out to standards at textileexchange.org and we'll be happy to answer your questions. Thanks so much for listening to this presentation and we hope to see you at a future revision. Bye.